G Prime 86. Sorry it took me so long to make this video, man. Day just kind of got away from me. But anyways, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. We'll also go over it in person tomorrow. Um, if you don't want to watch this video, that's totally fine. We can just go over it in person too. I, I was thinking about it. I think it's better just to have you concentrate on one team um, as opposed to try to focus on two teams. After all, this first game is just trying to get back into the rhythm of it, you know? Um, so anyways, uh, all the teams that I made are all very equally balanced at 150 point, 150 point character. You're playing the X-Men uh, headed by Cyclops, so he's half of your team. Should be pretty strong, and luckily he is. This Cyclops is amazing. Um, few notable things. I'm not going to go through all the powers. Uh, well, I'm going to have the powers and abilities card there, so you can kind of look to see what they do as the game progresses. But just a few highlights. He doesn't take pushing damage, which is awesome. He's a sharpshooter, so he can make ranged combat attacks when he's next to people. He has improved targeting. Uh, the way this works is that he ignores blocking terrain, which includes walls, when he makes ranged combat attacks. So let's say you and I are doing an indoor map, and I'm like two rooms away. You just ignore those walls. You shoot through them. You destroy the walls, and you still make an attack on me. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. Um, he has several different powers, all of them range-based, as you can guess. A few highlights. Uh, he has a nice move and attack. He has a running shot. That's the one where he moves half of his speed, and then he makes an attack for free. Um, he also has ways around uh, damage reducers. Uh, this one right here specifically, uh, Psychic Blast. That's Penetrating Psychic Blast. Uh, Anyone who has the damage reducers, you know, there's a, there's a lot of those. Toughness, minus one to damage. Invulnerability, minus two to damage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, this power goes through them, um, so that that's really helpful. Um, he also has this, uh, he also has Outwit. That's another way you can get around damage reducers or other problems, uh, problem uh, um, uh, powers. He has that on these three clicks right here. It's part of his special power. That's the one where you just turn off other people's powers. You can just say, you don't have that this turn. Also really, really helpful. So just this guy's just all around an awesome piece. Um, one last thing, a little bit of strategy here. This power right here, it, it, the way it works is he has two powers in one. He has Force Blast and Running Shot. We just talked about Running Shot right here. This is Force Blast. Force Blast is not the best power, but the way it works together is pretty cool. Um, it's after he does Running Shot, he can use Force Blast for free. And the way that works is that if you're next to somebody... Um, you just roll a d6, you don't even have to make an attack roll, you just roll a d6, and they are knocked back that many squares away from you. So if you roll a 6, they're knocked back 6 squares. So a little bit of strategy on this, when you do running shot, you might want to get yourself in a position where you're, you're, you're behind them, so when you do that force blast next, you're either pushing them into a wall, or hopefully pushing them off of a building, or off of a cliff, or something like that, so you're just doing more damage for free. So really cool. Um, anyway, moving on to your next piece, Jean Grey. You played with her before too. She's pretty great. Here's the penetrating psychic blast. Another way around those damage reducers. Um, she also has this power right here, enhancement. Uh, she's able to um, when she's next to people doing range attacks, she ups their damage passively, which is really nice since especially since you have all range teams. So Banshee right here. If he is next to Jean Grey, that three is actually a four. That four is actually a five. Um, so Jean Grey is really powerful in that aspect, um, just in terms of support. But what she's really great for is these two special clicks right here. So um, she can use running shot like like uh, like Mr. Summers, uh, but she does not have her range, and she can carry up to three characters when she's using it if they share a keyword, and you obviously all, all of them have the X-Men. So in her first turn, she can move nine squares shoot two targets up to eight squares away and bring the rest of her team with her so that's just crazy good um anyway that's kind of the highlight with her just moving on just so we can get through this um you can kind of ignore his trait for the most part i feel like um it, it, we'll just go past that I don't, I don't think it's very good in this situation banshee is kind of a one-trick pony um he's all about this pulse wave pulse wave is the yellow right here these three special powers are also pulse wave by the way real quick th this is who banshee is i don't know if you remember him from uh from our the x-men tv show or anything like that but anyway um the way pulse wave works is pulse wave is kind of a better version uh of psychic blast psychic blast goes through damage reducers pulse wave goes through everything uh it, it it also it goes through like things like stealth the way it works is you have your range so he'd be 3.5 so it would actually be four because you always round up. 
and it's four in all directions. So basically, you draw if if anyone is within four squares of Banshee, they are hit by their attacks. We can attack multiple characters at the same time with this. Um, and it ignores characters, and it ignores their powers and abilities. It's think of it as they basically just this energy surges coming off of them, and anyone within this radius is 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 dealt damage. Um, so it ignores things like stealth, it ignores super senses, it ignores shape change, it ignores all the damage reducers. Really powerful, but you have to be careful with it because it's everyone within that range. So if Jean Grey and Cyclops are within that four squares, they're taking damage too. So that's where a little bit of the strategy comes in. So if you're if you're trying to pull off this pulse wave with Banshee, just make sure Gene and Scott are uh, five or more squares away from him. Anyway, that's kind of that. Um, we'll go over more of this stuff soon. Uh, just one more thing to kind of note. Um, as I mentioned, uh, I, I, I'm playing a, another team with the same point values um, as well, 150, 150. Um, the characters I have, the 150-point guys, Wash, they're both really good. 100-point guys, Wash, they're both really good secondary attackers, plus support. You're really controlling. You control the board by her movement. I'll control the board in a different way with the character that I have. But both these, so far these two kind of play the same role. The role for Banshee's kind of like that third string attacker, just kind of another good guy. I would say overall the team I'm playing is a little bit better than the, than this team. It's harder to play, um, but I think it's also a little bit better. And it comes down to this fifty point character, and you'll you'll I'll, I'll reveal my team to you tomorrow when you see it. The the fifty point character I, I'm playing is just really really good for fifty points. So anyway, I'll kind of I'll kind of walk you through that and talk to you how to how to handle it and all that stuff. Anyway, man, talk to you soon. Bye.